Okay, I've got about 10 minutes till my wife gets home with the kids and it'll be too noisy to record any videos then. So let's get this done. This video is part of a series on 2D game design. If you haven't watched previous videos, be sure to check out the playlist in the description of this video. So far we have a very simple game with two players that move around the screen and you can jump and they collide with each other and with the bricks on the ground. Now, if you see I can jump or move left and right, you can see that they move identically. Let's give our players some custom values. And there's different ways of doing this. I'm gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible for you guys. Um, so we have our create player function here. And we are, the only variables that we're passing to it, the only parameters are uh, the X and Y, but we can pass other things. Let's add another one here and we'll call it J for jump and what we'll do here is we'll add to this function we'll say the player dot jump so we're just creating this value here we're going to say equals j okay so now <clears throat> let's go up here and add to where we create our players and give them different values so i'm going to say comma and um I don't remember what values, let's go 300 I think, negative 300 because we want them moving up the screen, comma, negative 300. Well, let's give them different values, it's kind of the point. Um, so we're passing that. Now, again, as I mentioned, and I'm kind of skipping over this just for simplic simplicity reasons, you really should do checks inside this function. Say, is x defined, is y defined, is j defined? If not, either completely exit out of the function and cancel it, or set default values. We're not going to do that right now, maybe because I don't have time before the wife and kids get home. Okay, so now we go to our player update function, and here we have the jump function uh, when you press up arrow and the player is touching something with its feet. Here, instead of negative 350, what we can do is we can go p for that player dot jump and now we're replacing that value with the value that we set when we created that player so now save that refresh let them both fall to the ground if I press up ah you see one jumps higher than the other look at that so now coming back over to our code Let's go back up where we're calling those. We can create as many players as we want with different values for this. So let me make this one 500. Let me make, that might be kind of high, but we'll say 500. And we'll make this one 350, which was our original value. Save that, F11. And jump. And now they can jump like this. And I can have one jump on the other one's head. Now they both have left and right, but I can block him on the wall there. And now, boom. Just like that. Now, they still move left and right the same. So we can give them other values that we can change. So let's go ahead, come up here, and just, when you're doing this, just try to make, you know, your values something that isn't already defined. So real click, we'll say player uh, dot, uh, I'll just call it V for velocity, and we'll set that to V. So that player's velocity will be whatever we set in V here. And now we can come down here for left and right, and I can say here negative player dot V, and here player dot V. And of course we have to set those values when we create our players. So I'm gonna come up here, create player, comma, We'll say 150, comma, and we'll say 200. So now, if I did all that properly, I should be able to refresh this, and we can see something locked up. F12, player not defined. Okay, that's because I said player instead of P down here. And that's my fault for not being consistent with how I'm labeling stuff, because uh, in this function, Play, each player is called P because I just didn't want to type player out each time. Now let's try. There we go. Now look, the player on the right is moving faster 
and the player on the left. You can see he's gaining on him. So there you can give each player their own values when they're created. And this is just one way of doing this. That's it for this video. This is part of a series. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, think about becoming a supporter over at Patreon.com. It's Patreon.com forward slash MetalX1000. Um, and if you do become a supporter, you get videos early because if you look at the playlist now, you may not be able to see next week's video, but if you are a supporter in the category for early releases, you get all the videos at the beginning of the month and you can download them and watch them and and all that good stuff. If you can't support me financially, but you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. This not only lets me know that you like this topic, but it also helps spread my videos and gets me more viewers, and I do appreciate that. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link to that in the description as well. The wife just pulled in the driveway. As always, I hope that you have a great day.